Toodles, toodles, boil oysters in the cloisters. Oh, got another letter for you, Eisen. Okay. Maybe it's from your sister this time. You want to read it? Me? Uh... Please allow me. Now then. Your cruelty knows no bounds. You bring deep sadness to a fair maiden's heart with each passing day. Repent or else I'll be forced to intervene. This is your final warning. And that's it. Wow, this person sounds really mad. Aizen, what did you go and do to make the fair maiden cry? I don't know, but I could try a couple things on you. Ooh, excuse me if I forget to be scared. The letter mentions a fair maiden. Do you think it refers to your sister? What? Oh, you could be onto something. She must be lonely so far away from her brother. It sounded like she's pretty fond of you. Hmm. Are you suggesting that Aizen's sister wrote these letters? I mean, they're certainly unusual, but... My sister wouldn't write something like this. Then maybe it's someone who's spending a lot of time around her. Like, oh, a man whose shoulder she cries on. Damnation, Magilu! My sister doesn't have any guy clinging on to her! Do you know something I don't? Prove it! Bring him here, right now! Calm down, Aizen. No one's saying that. But if you're really that worried, why don't you go see her? <sighs> have you... not done that since you left? I did go back once, a long time ago. But as soon as I showed up, a crowd started to gather. Overcome by malevolence, they turned into demons and attacked my sister then and there. Do you think it's your fault that happened? What do you think? I'd moved us to a safe place, low in malevolence and high up a rugged mountainside. So much for coincidence. I haven't gone back to see her since. Changing topics. I know I said these Nordals were a little off, but I think I'm starting to see that as part of their appeal. Huh? My point is, no matter how odd it might be, any gift could make a girl happy if it's given from the heart. Ha. <laughs> Sorry. You can't have one. <laughs>